A six-year-old little boy is dead after being attacked by the family dog. Thanks for joining us. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe in for Amanda Hall. Now, this happened yesterday morning at the home on Badger Lane. That's in Northport. And police say the boy was in a room alone with a three-year-old pit bull mix when it attacked. The Night Beats Just In Case is in the family's neighborhood. And Justin, a tragic situation overall. But do we know where the dog is now? The dog is currently in quarantine at Sarasota County Animal Services. Northport police told me they will follow any guidelines as necessary as far as what happens to that dog. But in the meantime, investigators are still trying to figure out what happened and what went wrong. On the day many of us were preparing to celebrate Independence Day with fireworks, one family's holiday turned into a nightmare. The dog was in a uh, bedroom. Uh, child walked into bedroom to get something. Next thing you know, people heard screaming and jumped into action. The boy suffered injuries to his upper torso. According to police, so severe he had to be airlifted to Sarasota Memorial Hospital. The boy was transferred to Tampa General Hospital, but died one day later. From every bit of information we have so far, is there's no history of the dog uh, acting out, which would you know, indicate that you know something could possibly happen. Uh, the, the animal lived in the home from basically a, a puppy, a couple weeks old, between two and eight weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and, you know, was a family pet. Northport police couldn't say for certain if the dog was affected by fireworks and possibly acted out because of that. Master dog trainer and behavioral therapist Patrick Logue says it's a possibility. When dogs are in distress, when they're adrenalized, that's never a good combination. Then you add kids into the mix. Um, kids bring their own stress, as any parent will tell you, uh, and their own sense of chaos. And it is just a bad situation, especially when kids are unsupervised with dogs. Police have not released details on what exactly happened in the moments leading up to the attack, but Logue says training can help dogs and pets deal with environmental stressors in a better way. Training dogs is great. We always like to get as many people involved in the training as possible. Uh, we only recommend that adults do the bulk of the hands-on training, if you will. But a lot of times, everyone in the household should be educated. Patrick Logue says dogs can sometimes show uncharacteristic behavior around the holidays when there are lots of changes. He also told me they don't understand the sounds of fireworks or thunder, and that can sometimes trigger a fight or flight response. On the Night Beat, Justin Case, Wink News.